Hello and welcome to another vlog all about playing this fantastic instrument which is the tin whistle. And notice I'm only using my iPhone to record this, I'm trying to keep it all really simple. It's a very simple instrument, nice cheap instrument, I think this one cost me about £7, £8 and it's a, a Clark Sweet Tone. Um, I have bought quite a few whistles uh, with uh, varying degrees of success. This one's very reliable, just warm it up and it plays pretty well. And in doing Speed the Plough, um, I've refined my um, tablature even more because you can now see that I've got these kind of grey uh, fingers in. And you can download this from my website and I'll try and explain uh, what that actually means. Basically, I, along with millions of other tin whistle players, realise you can leave fingers down quite a lot. You don't have to take the fingers off all the while. For instance, when I do the first little pattern, when I get to this bit, I can leave my first finger on the whole time because it's it's lower by one hole than the lowest note. See, basically the way it works is the, the lowest hole that's uncovered gives you the note. So if you go below that, it doesn't matter if you put a finger on, so you can leave fingers on. So watch carefully how I do the first bit. See that bit there? That first finger can stay down. Similarly here, there, see, third finger can stay on, and in here, first finger can stay on. You see, so then just repeat that pattern. You can get C sharp by playing uh, the whistle with all the holes open, but you can also get it like this. I'll show you in this second part, this B part. See there, from the, the high D there, which is all the holes covered apart from the top one. Leave fingers uh, one, two, three and the right hand on. And then you can just put your first finger down here to get the B and then you can release. So it, it means you don't have to take all the fingers off, which is quite awkward and it's hard to hold the whistle, isn't it, with all the fingers off. So that's a good little trick, isn't it? Basically, on my tablature, uh, where you see those grey fingers, uh, or grey circles, that means where you can leave fingers on, although they're not actually making any difference to the sound whatsoever. And that, you've got that all over the place. Which is, that's quite good, isn't it? Um, I've also written some instructions out for this tune, which I'm going to post on my website. And basically, uh, the first page explains all about what I've just been talking about. And then on the second page it says getting a feel for the chords. Let me just try and explain that. When you're playing the first little section, you're basically playing a scale of D major. So that's just running out through the scale. And when you do that bit there, the F sharp, A, F sharp. A and F sharp are found in the chord of D major. So basically... First two bars, the backing chord would all be D major. Then when you do the second and third bars, you've got this. G, B, G, that's a G chord there, okay? And then you've got F sharp, A, F sharp. So again, you're back to your D chord. And then in the fourth bar, G, E, E, right? The uh, E is found in the chord of A and the G is the seventh. So basically, you've got an A7 chord there. Then that's all repeated. And then on the second page, you've got D, obviously here. When you go to that C sharp note there, you want an A7 momentarily before you return to the D. Um, let me get my guitar and sort of see if I can make that a bit clearer for you. D, G, D, A7. A7, D, G, D, A7, D, D, A7, D, G, D, A7, D. So I'll just play those chords through for you without DDDing over the top of it. 
I count you in, you might want to play your whistle along these chords. Remember we're in the key of D major, uh, three chords of D, G and A7, or D, G and A if you like. Um, I mean I play Speed the Plough on my Melodian in the key of G, but it's fine to play in D. So one, two, three, four. So it's a fantastic instrument, isn't it, the tin whistle? Um, I keep finding new bits and pieces. I bought this Clark uh, tin whistle last week, which was recommended to me by Cutie Pie. Um, and if you haven't seen her, check her channel out. It's really, really good. Uh, what I find with it, it clogs up really, really quickly. And I've tried this trick with putting it in uh, a solution of uh, uh, washing up liquid. Uh, didn't kind of work really very well, but it does clog very quickly and it's fairly quiet. Pretty excited, I've actually bought a Chieftain tin whistle second hand, a C, uh, and that should be with me uh, at the end of this week, beginning of next week. So I'll show you that when I get it. Um, but uh, yeah, exciting times. We're really enjoying playing this, just nice and simple. I mean, my Chieftain was a bit expensive, second hand is about £41, which is quite a lot of money for a whistle with me saying it's a fairly cheap world to get into. And of course it is, you can buy a tin whistle for five, six pounds and they're, they're fine, absolutely great. Anyway, hope you found that interesting today. If you've got any uh, comments, please uh, put them below, as long as they're polite. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Daddy Long Les. And uh, if you click that bell icon, you will get notifications every time I upload something to uh, YouTube, which is at least two or three times every week. Thank you very much for watching and you'll see me in my next video.